Hello, hello my beautiful friends, day two of our hopeful junk journal. I think that's the name we're gonna leave for now at least. We will see if it's gonna end up to be called this way. Off camera I have uh, realized two things. One is that this rubber wasn't really holding so I changed it to just a longer one so I can double it. Look and it's holding far 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 better now so really nothing complicated just a little bit longer actually twice of the size of the uh, actual band and then I realized that my holes due to the sewing are kind of nearer to the middle part and I felt like hmm Marta that means the size of the paper like like what you would think for the size of the book they're not gonna fit because it's too big for the actual rubber. So I was like, hmm. So then we have size this, for example, which uh, could fit perfectly, which could fit good. Here it is. But then it looks quite, hmm, not so good, isn't it? But there's option number two, and accidentally it feels so good. It's a option number perfect, as I call it, because look, it is not too big, it is not too small. It's something in between, because I feel that this could be too small for some, this could be too big for some, which this is actually perfect and if any of you feel like adding smaller super and you can actually add bigger one as well if you wish to just glue down pages or clip them or something like that and you can still have your bigger pages or maybe instead of putting them here in the rubber you could have maybe like a sliding oh I didn't think about that it only came to my mind now but sliding something that you can just attach maybe that's what we're gonna do because I feel it would be lovely if we could do something on the actual cover as well. I feel that it would be beneficial if we could make it even more sturdy because of the sewing. The whole cardboard kind of broke here so I feel we could do something about it uh, and I also feel that I wish to do at least two signatures. One from the wide plain papers that we can take out and I don't think I want to sew them together at all. I really feel that I think I wish to have just regular pages like five of them maybe put them there or two signatures like that with just a plain paper that I can craft with make art made really all sorts of art journaling projects but the other signature that I really wish to do I really wish to do in vintage in leftovers in kind of you know bits and pieces from like book pages like this uh, from maybe envelopes from beautiful scrapbook papers that are a little bit vintagey a little bit uh, I don't know like, like kind of um, into browns into like this junk I don't know just nature maybe so that's the plan for today's video video uh, video number two making signatures where do I begin how do we start and what's that paper to um, make it clear here is the actual book with the papers that I'm using this one is from Arteza it's 32 watercolor sheets expert and it's a very very nice and a thick paper it's 300 g grams now why do I use color uh, watercolor paper I love working in watercolor paper because you can watercolor in it and mix media at the same time so whatever you actually like doing it and this is a huge paper isn't it it's actually far bigger than regular a4 because it's probably a3 am I right um, I'd say it would be like a size of you know a3 I think uh, next after the a4 uh, so few pages of those I think would be so 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 nice to use for the actual signatures that's what I'm gonna do um, and as I said we're gonna choose to get some papers for the second signature because I really really wish to have a mix in that journal because I think it would be nice to have the opportunity to you know mix and match things that we like I really wish some parts to be put together and sewn with thread and things like that and maybe some parts be loose so you can take it out and do maybe even like uh, if you feel like you really really wish to make for example um, maybe what's the word uh, gel printing so your pages are out so we're gonna have this and again use whatever papers you feel like using whatever papers you have if you don't have watercolor paper use any cardboard pieces you have that's also good I have my pages kind of 
inside each other and yes they are here a little bit like a steps because the paper is very thick so when you put together papers like this very thin papers of course they're gonna fit with each other far 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 better than the very very thick one and the signatures with that uh, will be just looking different so either you like that idea or you cut them and make them even so whatever works best for you I'm gonna obviously make them shorter here the same size as this one because I need I may do maybe instead of six pages here is it six I think it's six I may do three and three or something like that so that's what I'm thinking and I'm gonna cut it exactly as the actual uh, size of this one is I like that size I think it's a very good very nice fine size I'm gonna cut this and as I said we're gonna keep this one loose because I think it would be nice to just have let's see I'm gonna just try to measure it a little bit no measurements we have to have it here um, the, let me see dun, 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 dun. something like that something like that so now again <laughs> if it's not gonna be very much straight that's okay if this will be shorter this will be longer I'm okay with that so these are gonna be loose and maybe the other batch of uh, pages are gonna be together I don't know I feel like I really wish to make a little bit a little bit of a journey with that actual uh, book so I hope you are making your own I hope you will show and share your pages and we're gonna share them in cafe so please join my creative cafe it's called Mary Miss Creative Cafe on Facebook my group if you have never been part of it please please join and share your pages share your book and all it would be just amazing here it is <coughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's what we have right now. And I think Emily actually, when she saw this book, she really, really loved it. So, yeah, this is what we have so far. So we are really having a lot of paper right now because they are thick. So all is good, looking good. Now, I think we can leave those signature as they are and have a look through the actual papers and see what other signatures we can make together. Okay, I'm gonna move this and I have the papers that I purchased recently and look at them. This is exactly the vision that I had. So a page like this goes definitely to my actual book and if you're wondering that is the brand is called Maggie Holmes Heritage. Keepsake Souvenir Memorial Maggie. Oh, it's Crate Paper. Oh, American Crafts. <laughs> that will help. So here it is. And let's see some other beautiful papers. I'm sure I'll find something here that could be uh, match. And oh, look at this one. I love that. So we're going to have that as well. Why not? And that's nice. I'm not too sure it's going to fit. But I'm going to take it out. I have tons of vintage one. Uh, if you didn't see the uh, unboxing of this video, check it out. Uh, because it's a nice video. I got loads of lovely things from Scrapbook. You can have a look. I don't know, but I'm going to take it out. Oh, I love this one very much, so I'm going to take this out. I really feel for a little bit of a vintage nature. I love that, actually. Vintage nature. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of uh, a feel that I have. So what I will do is I'm going to make signatures and also next video will be to decorate some of the pages uh, for the junk journal uh, signature and then we can do pages and oh, plus, sky is the limit guys. Okay, so here are the pages. I found some other pages that I think could be a beautiful fit to actual journal. I have some beautiful papers that are like kind of watercolorish, a little bit of vintage, a little bit of you know brownish or we have some teal as well sure why not I this is 49 and market this one is a barn market from Ritter from design no longer available no longer existing company sadly many many years ago uh, they closed down beautiful papers um, they had oh, good memories I think isn't it uh, I'm gonna put this aside because this is more for actually decorating the pages I think than creating the actual pages 
Uh, so I'm gonna put these aside and this as well. I have also my papers, uh, Art Technique paper set if you never knew about it. This is my very first kind of uh, last year a paper collection. I didn't work too much in them I think and I really miss it. I really feel it would be so 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 amazing to grab some of those pages and actually include them. And we have some collage pages which is fabulous and include them in the actual uh, book. So I'm gonna try to have this exact size. So, um, so I'm gonna grab how about this page first? Now this one also will be more for decorating, I think. I would like this page, I think so. I think so. So I'm gonna <clears throat> go for, let me see, where is that? Something like that, is it? No, here. Here is the cutting part. Um, hmm. I think so. Okay, so here it is. Oh wow, I love this. I love this. So this would be page number one of our... Now I'm using par par purposely, I'm using the actual papers because why not? Last time I was using very much uh, like dye, dye papers, like a really um, scra crappy scrappy papers. Now this time I really wish to make something pretty as well as use some leftovers. So by leftovers I'm thinking I'm happy to use pages that are in my stash for very long. These are new but these are in my stash for some time now so I think it would be nice. And this is gorgeous and I think it could be so nice to use it somehow. I'm not too sure how yet but that's okay and Lucas came for my phone because in our house Lucas is looking after um, my phone being charged. Sadly I never remember and but you know what I figure out why I don't remember to charge my phone it's because he does remember it and I think it's partially his fault and I mean it Lucas it's because you have got used to me so much that I don't need to think about it that I don't think about it and you know and sometimes he's getting cross with me that I didn't put it on charge but I don't think about it because he always does so why would I any of you can relate to that <laughs> just uh, without this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous oopsie, designs I didn't cut, this didn't cut it will cut now, super okay, now I'm gonna cut this off as well so yes, in our house that's how it looks uh, Lucas is the one always remembering about charging bringing the charger and things like that so Oh, I love this one as well. If you're wondering, 49 and Market, I'm sure you can find them in the scrapbook. Uh, link is in the description box. Uh, scrapbook has plenty, plenty, plenty products that I'm using, so you may as well check them out. Okay. And this page I found is quite old as well. I'm not maybe a huge fan of this part, but this is lovely. So I'm going to use this one because it's a very vintagey look. And I'm thinking to um, maybe glue this page together with something else. Imagine that. Like, if I don't like this, let's say don't like it's probably a bad word, but let's say I have left over from um, this page. So let's see. Let's see. Oops. Okay, uh -huh. perfect, okay, and then we have also left over on its own from the same actual paper, um, I mean from here, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this one cut in here, mm -hmm. and maybe glue it down or something like that. Okay, that's what I might do actually. That's what I might do. Let's see. But before that, let's uh, let's kind of put them like down here. Look how pretty is the page all already. Am I right that this seems to be smaller than this? It's a uh, size-wise, it's a little yeah, it's a little bit shorter. It's far shorter. That's okay. I don't mind. It is shorter. 
however this happened <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how this happened how did I cut cut it that I didn't notice it but that's okay this could be slightly different and it will look nicer maybe even in the book because it's gonna be different so okay so here it is now this is a very thick paper as well so <laughs> together it's gonna be kind of difficultish to this one is also small I don't know how this happened <laughs> that's okay that's really okay so we can put them together like that and we can have maybe these two together we could actually maybe sew these or whatever whichever whatever whichever works best we could have these maybe something like that happening oh I love that I could be a little bit precise with that. Mm -hmm. Now, and my pages as well, which I would love to use. And this one is the the joint one. How about if I should do this one with this? And we shall see. Maybe I'll cover up with something else. With this or with something else? I don't know. Which pages, Marta, would you like to use from your pad? I really love this one, I have to say. But are we going for thick or thin? Are we going for thick or thin? I think I'm going to jump in for the... Hmm, for the thick one. As my pages, pages. Yes, this is nice. I love this one. And I'm going to use probably... The very first one, yes, the very first one. Those two are my absolute favorite. And we need to cut them. So so this is going to be very much shorter because it's A4. That's okay, I think. So we could have all sorts of signatures. Look, you can always change your mind as well. And because it's a base, your, your like book has a base, base of a base. You can, you know, add any sort of signature it feels good and right for you so don't feel obliged to exactly how I do how I feel and things like that so here it is I cannot wait to start acting and decorating and I hope that the next videos are gonna be all about that we will decorate the pages we'll do some inspirational things we will do um, just things that we just both enjoy you and me and also we do a cover we're gonna decorate that part as well I love that idea I really really do so we have this signature for example which is nice it's a little bit like a vintagey that's purple one interesting oh I like that oh it's gonna be very interesting but this I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this one this will be together with that and it's nice and I'm thinking that this yellow could be elsewhere for example it could be here with this singular paper one why not then we have the purple and we have this we could have maybe this one as well and then we could have this one going with here wow and imagine how many free spaces we have left two only but that's okay maybe we could go for oh, I love this one maybe we could have hmm maybe we could change our mind and have this orangey because this will match actually the rest so we could have this one here for example and this one could go together the big and the small together imagine that oh, and we're gonna swap I know we're gonna swap small to big so this is big smaller I like that and this one is slightly bigger so it's gonna be here I'll show you all together Wow I love this look at that so that's what we have right now Wow so here it is we have our pages that you can cra craft art in them right away as they are you can just take them apart you can glue them together you can do whatever you like and to be honest I have no plan as always this book is a pure um, experiment I'm not really 
a focus on any sort of like one theme, one color, one type or one definition. No, it's a book and that it's going to be just bringing me joy and I really would love to work in it for this year. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I, I just, I just feel like that. So maybe, maybe some of you will find it inspirational as well. So here are our pages. I love it. I have to say, I love it. I imagine, um, I imagine that you could m even glue them if you like and sew them if you feel like it. Uh, but I imagine, oh, I love this <laughs> so much. I imagine that we could add things here. For example, like. Um, a flap or something like that we could I, I have to think about that so today's video it's about signatures and making those now you can also if you feel like changing things you can also take one of the one of the things out you can swap and match but you can also add like a small piece like this the leftover one let me just grab these there we go and you can use them as well or you could use for example some of that from those leftovers let's have a look at them together this one is nice and this could be add somewhere for example where could we add this let's say if you don't like or you're not comfortable too much with that purple i'm gonna cut it in smaller for example and just you know have this one here happening right away or you can just place this something like that and decide later on whatever it feels good whatever feels good also for this one is nice I like that imagine this just going like that the sky is the limit literally it's up to yourself I think our next video will be to have a think about the, not the cover as such because I really wish to make something really special on the cover uh, but I think the next will be to really think about sides of our make some pockets maybe make some hidden things um, so yes I think that's what we're gonna do for a uh, next video I really hope you enjoyed this one I hope you made your signatures I hope you have your book in your hands and you're gonna follow and we're gonna have fun for the next couple of days please let me know if you manage to make the book and if it's uh, too difficult make your own uh, get inspiration uh, however feels good for you and be inspired the way as it feels comfortable so you know sky's the limit break the rules do your own way everything is perfectly fine and no it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be same size same color same no do your own thing be yourself that's the main thing i'm gonna wrap up at that thank you so very much for watching and i love you but i really have to go till the next time happy chatting happy crafting and i'll talk to you soon bye bye bye